Hi, I'm Bob Thornburg, founder of Sweet Pro Feeds, and we've got a variety of feeds feeding all sorts of livestock and companion animals. What you see here is kind of the mainstay of the product line that we developed first and patented. The lick tubs, the 250 pound lick tubs that feature a distiller's grain carrier and really revolutionize the way lick tub feeding can be done. As you can see here, we've got four tons stacked on one another with no pallets or no racking required because the product is stable both summer and winter it can stack right on top of each other and the forklift slots were unique in the, the early development of the product line so that we could eliminate pallets and eliminate the weight that that pallet represents the cost that that pallet represents as well because when you're feeding cattle the cost of freight and the cost of equipment doesn't bear any relationship to the nutrition that animal is getting so whenever we can save those costs and put it into better nutrition, the better your animal will perform. The Sweet Pro product line is unique in that we have to be able to accommodate a variety of settings and various stage of growth on cattle. So you've got lightweight calves and you've got full mature cows and the whole range in between and they don't all eat the same amount especially if their forage is different. The Sweet Pro 16 is kind of the mid-range product line and if your cattle are in good nutritional, a good plane of nutrition and your forages are good, really you can have cows on 16s and you can have especially first calf heifers. It's a particularly good heifer block. Now if they're eating too much of the 16, then we go to the FiberMate 18, which is a little bit harder and a little more restrictive, but the goal is to be able to have about a pound of consumption per head per day. Anywhere from three quarters of a pound to a pound and a quarter is the optimum range, and that's what we're trying to achieve with the stage of growth product line. It takes a little while to get onto it, but once you do, your forages are the indicator of, of what that uh, animal will need. Now, if they're not eating enough of the Sweet Pro 16, then you can go to the Cattle Candy. It's designed for that calf, that four to seven weight calf but a lot of people that have good forages will have their cows on the cattle candy as well. And so you match it to get that animal to eat in that pound per head per day typical range. The FiberMate 20, as you can see in the large stack, is the harder and even more bitter product. And the bitterness doesn't detract from the nutritional quantity, it just tapers down their intake. And the key to all of this is that you want to have good, consistent consumption, but because it's not starch and sugar, if they're out for a day, they're out for two days, or out for three days, not a problem because the microbial population in the rumen is geared for foraging. These are more forage friendly, and you just put it back out and they can take off and go. That feature actually has opened the door to what we now call space feeding because if they're eating quite a bit and a little more than you're comfortable with because they're getting their plane of nutrition up, if you want to put out a week's worth of product and they eat it in four days, don't worry about it. Just leave them without for three days and then put the product out and you can literally control their intake with that type of space feeding. And it's not something you can do with any uh, other blocks because if you've got sugar and you leave them without for a while and then they go on it, the microbial population in the rumen is shifting to a degree that it's really a problem. And so the space feeding really works with our program because it's rumen and forage friendly. Now we've got a variety of other products also. The, the Lick Tub is the one that we made our mark on first and pioneered the use of fermented uh, distiller's grain in particular as the carrier for all of a 
extremely good vitamin and trace mineral program that includes organically complex minerals and also an additive that we call probiotin and it's unique to us it's proprietary to sweet pro feeds and it's an additional boost where we're fermenting wheat oats barley and flax so we're broadening the amino profile the amino acid profile on the product line and adding that to the corn or the milo distillers grain so you get a much broader amino acid profile more tools for that animal nutritionally to uh, work to its advantage. So probiotin is a very unique component and it helps improve feed efficiency and it's consistent with that forage oriented diet. The Fresh Start product line is one that's very similar to the composition of the hard lick tubs but it because it's uh, in a meal form we can put a higher percentage of the probiotin additive in it and of course we have it in the 50 pound bags as you see here and we also have fresh start in totes for those who like to handle it in bulk and a very unique way to handle the product because it's a little bit packy and more difficult to deal with what a lot of people do is just hang it suspended by forks or a bucket on a tractor and they'll take a knife blade and just slit the bottom because the bags are not returnable and it just all falls out in a pile so it's really very simple to handle and then it's metered into top dresses or into uh, TMR rations as well. In the horse product line we have the Equipride which is the mainstay of the product line. We have it in 25 pound pails. Also the 50 pound bags for added economy and what a lot of people do is they'll buy some pails to have the pail available and then they'll refill that pail out of a 50 pound bag uh, from an economy standpoint. So it works real well. And for those horses that you want to have as a uh, free choice uh, product available, well then our licked, lick products are what you need for the horses there. Here we have the Equilix tub. In this case it's a 50 pound version. We have a 125 pound version as well. But the same as we've seen with cattle, the fact that it has no starch and no sugar and it's more forage friendly and it's feeding the microbial population in the digestive tract more efficiently, they get more out of their forage and as a result they can get by with less forage. And that's important to let customers know because sometimes they'll say, well my horse isn't eating all of its feed, you know, it's not eating all the hay. Well, they're finding that it's just that much more efficient, and so they won't eat quite as much. But the product is very dense, very solid, and stands up to the weather. It's got a high fat content, so it tends to shed moisture as well. But the horse products in particular are beefed up to a degree that performance is what you're looking for with your animal, in whether you're roping or reining or cutting. And so added biotin, added flax, and higher vitamin E are some of the hallmarks of what put this really into a performance level product line. The individual products, while they weigh between 225 pounds to 250 pounds, are really quite easy to handle. All you have to do is just tip them on their side and there, because it has a flat surface, it will roll true and very easy to handle. Ones that are full containers, the molasses licks are tapered and they're going to be going around corners and these, they just roll nice and true. And, and in so doing, as you roll the product, if you tip it on its side off the back of a pickup truck, for example, or something like that, just roll it right off. Best if you try to hit it either flush or on the, on the base so that you don't break product off of the top of some of the softer tubs. But it's a product, that, it's a technique that people get onto pretty easily. But again, the tipping and the rolling characteristic of it is part of what makes the product so easy to handle. And that forklift slot pays double duty because it's an easier place to grip it to tip it.
And we've got, the, we've got goat products, we've got sheep products, and really a wide variety that we've been developing over a series of 20 years now. We're starting to feel like uh, we're certainly uh, a long and well-established company, but we feel brand new in many respects because nobody has done it this way, and so many people are just learning about us. And as they do, it seems like it's all brand new.